Hi, everybody. My name is John Tomic. I am a vice president at Synchronous Technologies, a company that I'm sure no one in here has heard of. <laughs> and so, well, maybe, maybe a couple people. So, who are we? We service big telecommunications providers, companies like AT&T, Verizon, Comcast. And if you go to our website, you'd see stuff like this, which isn't real fun to talk about because you can go to the website and see stuff like that. So what I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about is a problem that we're trying to solve here. It's a big one. So quick poll, who here has a cell phone? Who here loves their cell phone? I know you say you love cell phones, just like your car. Um, who here has upgraded their cell phone in the last three years? Practically everybody. Who here loves to wait in line at a retail store for an hour while they transfer all of your stuff from your old phone to your new phone? Exactly. So the industry is creating this upgrade mania. And what's happening here? Well, phones are coming out all the time. You'll see it here soon. What also is happening out here? The operating systems are getting into the, into the mix. And so what are they doing? They're creating new operating systems. They're jamming features into these operating systems faster and faster every year. Who else is getting into it? The carriers are getting into it. They're offering payment plans. They're offering incentives to get you to upgrade. They want you upgrading every single year. So they're throwing out trade-in programs. They want you to get rid of your old phone, throw it away, get it off of that. They, they actually want you to get onto new phones because their new technology doesn't work with the old phones. So that's what's happening in the industry. Now, what about us? So we love our cell phones. We don't want to give away our cell phones. Why? Because we have all this content. We have thousands of contacts. We have hundreds of pictures, videos. The OEMs know this because they're making the phones bigger and bigger and bigger. They're jamming more memory into it because they know everyone uses these things. In addition to that, they're all personal. They're an extension of us. And so you use your phone for everything. We know it. We see all the data that are coming over here, using for Facebook, for checking stocks, for checking weather. It, people actually use it to make phone calls still, which is, you know, I don't know why you do that. But so, so when you go through this upgrade process, it's scary. It's really scary when you have to go into a store and you have to take your old phone and hand it to someone and never see it again. And now you have this new phone blank slate. Where's all my stuff? So a lot of the companies came to us and said, hey, we, we, we need help solving this problem because our customers are really afraid of it. They were building up for scale. And so the first thing that we tried to do is help them with that scale. And so we, we took a, we have an activation platform, which basically sits behind websites and takes orders. So more likely, if you went to a website and ordered a phone, our platform probably shipped it to you and turned it on. So that's part of what we do. We do activation. It's not, you know, it's workflow and automation and things that are not really exciting to show. The other thing that we do is we have an application called Mobile Transfer. And what does that do? You, you go to the app stores, you go to iTunes, you go to Google Play Store, Windows, Play, Windows Phone Store. You download this to your old phone, you download it to your new phone, and you hook it up to a Wi-Fi hotspot, which is super fast for transferring information. And you click a button after saying what you want to transfer, and all your stuff moves nice and fast. And it does this across carriers. It does this across operating systems. It doesn't matter if you're going from an iPhone to a Samsung phone. It doesn't matter. And it's super fast. So hopefully, the days of waiting in stores for an hour are going to go away. And we get excited about that. We get super excited about that. But the carriers didn't want us to stop there. And so we bolted onto that a cloud offering. And so not only is your stuff moving from your old phone, but we're going to back it up for you nice and safe and secure. So the next time you go and upgrade, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about moving any of your content. It's all there nice and, nice and safe. So we get to put together slides that are fun, that show cost reductions and CSAT scores going up. And you know, this is great for the business people here that love to just show these kinds of things. I love it. Um, but we're, what really gets me excited and gets our team excited is that we get to do it for all of these companies and affect a major part of the industry, which is pretty huge. So that's our spiel. Thank you very much. Uh, if you're interested in joining us, come see me. Any questions? Yes.
Good question. Is it a consumer offering or do you have to get it through your carriers? We actually, our customers are big carriers, so we don't really service the end user cons consumers. Um, but if you were to go to, say, iTunes and go look for our mobile transfer app, you'd see it branded under carrier names. And they're typically free to you. <laughs> Any other questions? Yes. These guys. Uh, good question. So a lot of what we're, um, so different customers have bought different portions of our offerings, and so we're, we're selling more of our offerings to everybody on this page. Um, there are only so many carriers, so it's kind of a finite market. So it's, it's more about um, taking our solutions and growing them within this customer base. Yes. Not today. So the question is, is do, we, do we basically get rid of the content once we move it off of the old device? And today, it's, we're basically just copying it. Um, the, this, people are very scared about you know, getting rid of, yeah, losing things. So you don't want to delete something. But we have plans to go down that path. It's being asked for. Yeah. One more question. It's a really good question. So how much is our business is, is domestic versus international? Because the, the usage of phones is very different. A lot of feature phones overseas. Um, it's, it's the same. So a lot of our business is in the United States, although we do a lot of business with uh, European carriers. And they're very interested in what we're doing. So I think as you see smartphones start to take over more, that's where our solutions really come into play. <laughs>